Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 Challenge. Thanks so much for coming by. Today is episode 110. And, you know, I'm not mad about today. It was a neutral break-even day on the options account. Took two trades today, uh, both same day till expire. And in at 15, out of 15, and in at 9, out of 9. So you can see break-even there, uh, except for the fees, which are about $0.05 cents a trade. So very small amount. That's exactly one of the reasons why I, I trade on Weeble and why I really like it over some of the other brokers. Um, because today would have been much more frustrating had I had to have paid those larger fees. So shout out to Weeble for that. Also, you can see plus 900 on the futures account and uh, still getting the hang of that. Had a lot of fun with that today. Took a lot of trades, too many trades, uh, 44, total of 94 contracts. Uh, I paid $205 in fees and uh, you can see the rest of the stats there, but pretty wild. I went on an eight trade win streak, three loss streak, and you can see the average win loss duration right there. Uh, 152 for wins and 30 seconds for losses. So cutting losses quick, trying to let those winning trades ride out a little bit longer. Uh, but overall, that's too many trades. Holy smokes, that is a lot of trades. I can't even, it seems impossible, but somehow I do it. I don't know. If anyone else out there has ever made 44 trades in a day, please let me know. Um, but I was, I thought it was contracts and I went and looked at the stats and I was like, wow, that's, that's incredible. It didn't seem like that much cause it was green. I think 95% of the time. Um, but I was really just over trading, trying to capitalize on all the volatility today. And at the same time, giving back profits, taking a little bit more and then giving back. Um, I think I was up, you know, a hundred and then 400 and then down to two and then up to five, down to three, you know, up to six, down to seven and then up to eight and then to nine and then stop for the day. So way too many trades, but Anyways, if you're new here, please like and subscribe if you enjoy it. I greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's dive right in. So we're looking at the 15-minute chart here, and you can see we made a new 52-week high, so that's pretty exciting. It does make me nervous. You know, everyone is starting to shout timber, basically. But just kind of waiting to see how it all plays out. You know, there's always people yelling for the market to crash. You know, it took forever for the market to actually pull back um, a couple years ago now at this point. Jeez. Um, but once we hit all-time highs, I mean, for months, people were yelling that the market was going to crash. And it, it took a long time, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we don't crash. Hopefully, we kind of slowly trend up. Um, but it does make you nervous a little bit when there's been such a nice run. So uh, that's the beauty of trading options or futures is you can make money up and down. And, man, am I grateful for that. So let's zoom on in to the one-minute chart before I keep on rambling here. Uh, it just feels good to be get. <laughs> Feels good to be Gap. Uh, well, spoke too soon. Feels good to be back. A little bit of a tongue twister today. So trade number one in at 950. Held that for two minutes and uh, got out break even. And I actually could have, you know, held that and made a pretty good amount of money today. So that's frustrating. But also, you know, it just wasn't worth holding on and uh, taking a loss on it, you know. When the account's fresh and you want to start and really grow, it's important to preserve capital. You know, try to time things out as best you can, but sometimes, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. You just don't get a move um, like you want. So you can see I caught a little bit of move to the upside. That's why I could get out break even. And I was watching the order book very close, making sure that I could kind of hop in at the last second. You know, that's really part of the strategy for getting out break even and not taking that loss is waiting for the order book to kind of run and timing that out with the market at the right time. So all of those things play a big factor in, in the timing of it. You know, timing is so important. Um, but moving on to trade number two, uh, waited just about a half hour in at 1024, out at 1031. And this one was a little more frustrating because you can see here, I actually caught a decent move. Um, but because of the contract and volatility, it just did not pay me. You know, I got out break even and it was... It was this close to going to going green, but it just did not happen. Did not want to give it up. And uh, I'll show you some examples of uh, some of the other contracts. I think it was 437. Let's see here. Okay, so here's an example of a contract. Here is the exact same time frame. Um, in at 1024, out at 1031. Had I had more buying power 
and eventually when the account gets to this size, this is kind of an example of the exact same return you would expect with a larger size. You know, so if you're watching this and you're trying to grow a small account and you're like, I don't want to trade with $20 um, because it's just not worth your time or you just, you want to trade with more money because, you know, there's more, more risk, more reward, but it always feels better to make more money. Uh, whatever the case may be for you, um, this is exactly what you could expect if you were to make the same trade I made today, but just bought a contract that was right at the money, right at that line. So um, in at 1024, out at 1031, and really you could have got in at like 114, 115, and sold around 136, um, you know, safely around 130. So you could have easily made a quick $20 in much less time. I mean, it would have been in one, two, three, you know, in about five minutes, you would have made a quick $20 um, if you had more buying power in that exact same scenario. So that's just one example. I think I marked out a couple earlier as I was planning for the video, um, but uh, I think <laughs> I think that sums it up quite well. So moving on, this is the account, you know, down 24 cents today, just 0.93%. So break even. Uh, and, you know, that's just the price you pay, those small fees. Here's the transaction history. Um, if you're new who I'm, <laughs> if you're new who, uh, if you're new here, I'm completely transparent and apparently I can't speak very well today, um, but I'm completely transparent. I always share my transaction history. We'll never lie or make things up. I think learning how to trade is overly complicated on the internet and people want to make it seem like it's harder than it really is just so they can charge you for whatever service they're trying to provide. And there's just a, you know, a lot of shady people out there. So not saying everyone is, but there's definitely a lot of people that you have to, be, you have to be careful for that just want you to uh, join their discord or whatever it might be. So, but anyways, that's about all I have for the day. Um, I know I went kind of quick. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'd be happy to help. But uh, yeah, I hope you stay happy and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.